Now, in this question, the principal explains to us about the offense of adultery as to when a person will be liable for adultery, right? Now, the facts in the present question are A and B were not married, but they lived together in a house. Most people in the neighborhood thought that these two were a married couple, right? Now, C, who was another neighbor, he came to rea he got to know about the reality that A and B were not actually married, but they were living together in a living relationship, right? Now, this person, C, he started blackmailing B, the woman, that is, he that he would tell everyone the reality and that she would be shunned from the society, right? Now, fearing the fearing that her truth would be known to everyone, she developed illicit relations with C, that is, the neighbor, as well. Now, C or B, or the woman also had a relationship with the boss, that is X. Now, B, C and X were prosecuted for the offense of adultery. Now, in this question, we need to decide whether B can be prosecuted for adultery or not. Now, clearly, the correct answer over here is B. That is, no, as she, can, she cannot be prosecuted for adultery as she is a woman. Now, over here, the principle clearly says that whoever has sexual intercourse with a man, with a person who is and whom he knows or has reasons to believe to be the wife of, a, of another man. So over here, clearly, the principle says that a person, that is a male, will be only responsible for having a sexual intercourse with the wife of another man, right? So without the consent or connivance of that man, without the consent or the connivance of the husband, and such sexual intercourse will not amount to rape, should not have amounted to rape. And therefore, that particular man or person will be held liable for adultery, right? So clearly, the correct answer over here again is B. That is, she cannot be prosecuted for adultery because she is a woman. B is the correct answer.